Hey friends, thanks so much for joining us here. And thanks so much for singing with me. If you're doing good today, let me hear a big, oh yeah. <laughs> awesome. And guess what? God loves me and God loves you. And because God loves us, I know I can trust God. Who can trust God? That's right. I'm so glad I can always trust God. That's exactly what our memory verse teaches us this month, too. The Bible tells us to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Let's try it together. Make sure you do the motions with me. Are you ready? Let's go. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. All summer, we've heard about people in the Bible who were learning to trust God with their whole heart, too. We met Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who were thrown into the fire furnace, but they knew that God was always with them. Last week, we saw how Jesus showed Peter how to trust in God when he walked on water. And Jesus helps us trust God, too. In today's true Bible story, we'll learn about something special that we can put on to help us trust God. Are you ready to hear about it? Awesome. But before I tell you our true story from Ephesians chapter 6, I want to ask you a question. What do we wear to protect our clothes from food when we cook? Hmm. If you said apron, <laughs> that's right. That's what you wear to protect your clothes when you cook. Now let's try something else. What do we wear to protect us from water when we go out in the rain. Hmm. If you said a raincoat or umbrella, <laughs> that's exactly right. Those things help us be protected from the rain. Now, I have something cool to show you. Check it out. That's pretty cool, right? This is kind of like what a soldier would have worn when our Bible story was written. It's called armor. Can you say armor? Good job. I thought I would show you this armor while I tell you the Bible story. You see, soldiers used to wear armor to protect them when they went into battle. The Bible teaches us that God gives us something very special to put on to protect us too. It's a special kind of armor that we can put on every day to help us. Remember to trust God and go his way. Here, let me show you. Do you know what this is? You said helmet. That's exactly right. Where does the helmet go? Does it go on your foot? No. <laughs> does it go on your elbow? No, of course not. <clears throat> Where does it go? <laughs> right. The helmet goes on your head. You can put on your pretend helmet with me. Are you ready? Put your pretend helmet on. The Bible teaches us that when we remember Jesus, is our friend forever, it's like putting on a helmet. We always want to remember that Jesus is our friend. Now, look at this. This is called a breastplate. A soldier wears it like this. The breastplate covers a soldier's chest and protects their heart. I would like you to pretend to put on your breastplate and then tap your heart three times like this. Nice. The Bible teaches us that when we choose to go God's way, it's like wearing a breastplate to protect us. We always want to remember that God's way is perfect. Right? <laughs> right. Okay. Can you tell me what this is? <laughs> That's right. It's a shield. A soldier holds it on their arm just like this so they can block things that might hurt them. Ping! Ping! Hold your pretend shield like this. Great job. The Bible teaches us that when we trust God, it's like holding a shield up to protect us. We always want to remember to trust God. So now we have a helmet to remind us that Jesus wants to be our friend forever. A breastplate to remind us that going God's way protects us. And a shield to remind us that trusting God will protect us too. We're wearing the armor of God. And do you know what else we have? 
We have God's Word, the Bible. We can read the Bible every day, and it will teach us how to go God's way. And remember, God's way is the best way, so we can always trust God. That's why when I ask, who can trust God? I want you to say, I can trust God. Ready? Who can trust God? <laughs> okay, one more time. Let me hear you say it really loud. Who can trust God? <laughs> you sure care. Okay, friends, it's time to pray. Let's close our eyes and talk to God together. Dear God, thank you for giving us so many special things to remind us that we can trust you. Thank you for the helmet that reminds us that Jesus wants to be our friend forever, the breastplate to remind us that going your way will help protect our hearts, and the shield to remind us that trusting you will help keep us safe. And thank you for giving us the Bible to teach us how to go your way. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining, guys. See you guys next week.